So right here, I'm just taking clear acrylic and put it inside of the container and picking out what color um, acrylic chalk I want to use. And I extended the drill bit out some so it won't be too close to the opening and the dust won't come into the drill. This part of the drill, make sure you wrap it with saran wrap. I got a new one coming in, um, a hand piece because it's got a shortening in it. So they're sending me one. So I'm just waiting on it. So I really don't care about if dust do get in this one. I got a backup drill. Okay, so I'm getting ready to make a swatch of the the process of the acrylic making. Okay, those are a little too light for what I'm going for. So I'm just adding a little bit of... Um, white so about one third white of a teaspoon i'm sorry a tablespoon and i didn't like that color so i'm going in with more of the chalk Okay, so I'm stirring it up again. And I'm going to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Now I'm about to do some more swatches. Now I'm going in adding more of that acrylic chalk. Okay, I'm going to shake it up more. And I'm, I keep doing this process. You don't have to do this process as many times as I had. I'm just trying to get a specific color. I want something like very, very fallish. That was a better color. So now I'm going to mix it. Um, just mix it in the grinder. The tobacco grinder is on Amazon. I'm going to mix it until I get a good consistency with that. And then I'll swatch it again. Okay, so I'm going in and adding a little more. Okay, so this is just about the color I want. So I'm going in and adding more clear to fill up my container and lighten it just a bit. It was something up in there, so I just got it out. Shaking it up again. Okay, so now I'm about to put it in the container um, finally and go ahead and mix it up in a tobacco grinder. Okay, so my camera has stopped, so now I'm just mixing it up in a tobacco grinder 
and moving it around so it'll get evenly um, chopped, so to speak. And now I'm just shaking it up. Now I'm putting my phone down so I can take the top off. And this is how it looks after the top is off. Now I'm just swatching it. And I love how it looks now. So this is the final look on a swatch stick.